What if I told you I went from living in a state of cluttered chaos, always feeling the need to buy more and be more, to someone who is simply satisfied with living with next to nothing in a room the size of a shoebox? So let me fill you in on what happened here. Hello everyone, my name is Clara and I would call myself a female minimalist in this day and age. Now I know there are many different definitions of what it means to be a minimalist, but here's the definition that resonates with me most. According to The Minimalist Vegan, a minimalist lifestyle is the process of identifying what is essential in your life and having the courage to eliminate the rest. When you remove the unnecessary, you free up your time and capacity to focus on the things that truly matter in your life. And what I believe to be a minimalist lifestyle is it's not about owning a specific number of items per se, but it's more about living intentionally by learning to let go of the things that we don't really use on a regular basis and start beginning to focus on purchasing only things that we need. Sounds Sounds simple, simple, right? With the consumer culture that is almost ingrained into our everyday lives, it's hard to stay out of the cycle of constantly buying more or wanting more. So maybe it's wanting to purchase that new iPhone even though you already have a perfectly working old phone or wanting that new trendy pair of jeans for your next vacation just because. It's that overwhelming feeling that leads to an increase in anxiety and somehow leaves us feeling dissatisfied unless we satisfy that want. So whatever that may be for you, with all of the distractions that are around us, we find ourselves losing sight of the little things in life that are already right in front of us. Okay, so let's rewind a little bit. After graduation in 2017, I got the opportunity to work on board a cruise ship and travel the world as a professional dancer and aerialist. And for those of you who don't know me, I graduated with a degree in performance dance, so taking this opportunity after grad was a no-brainer for me. So I attempted to pack my life into two suitcases and I just got on a plane and began working overseas. Now, this is where I began to live more nomadically and found that this was really where my minimalist journey really began. My room on board was quite tiny. At the time, I had a single share cabin, which is essentially like a box with a bed that folds out of the wall. And I quickly learned to kind of take on that minimalism journey quite unintentionally. And each year that I worked on the ship, I found that I started to live more and more simply which allowed me to discover really what my true necessities were. The more that I realized this, the more intentional I became with what I had and what I purchased along the way as I moved forward towards the bigger goals in my life. So here I am in 2022, restarting this YouTube channel once again, as I find such passion and fulfillment in bringing you guys along this, well, constant journey of minimalism as a female in today's society. Now, I I want to use this platform to share the things that I'm learning along the way to hopefully help some of you guys maybe beginning your minimalist journey or curious about starting. It's so easy in today's society, especially as a female, to feel pressured to follow the trends or to choose the right aesthetic. And it simply just drives us to wanting more. So for me personally, I just found that I fell into this comparison trap, which only allowed me to feel paralyzed to share any content on this platform and just in social media in general, actually. I almost felt like I needed to buy more aesthetic clothing to be more trendy or buy more things for my space to make it more aesthetically pleasing for my audience. And my worth to share things just started becoming related to consuming and wanting more and needing more to feel worthy enough to do these things, which seems kind of silly now that I think about it. Once I realized this, I knew that I needed to share my journey and perspectives along the way. I'm on a constant journey of learning that it's okay to own less, to wear the same thing every day, to make small sacrifices, to help budget and save towards bigger goals. I want this to be a safe space for us to grow together and really bring into perspective how living simply and more intentionally can allow us as humans to build a more sustainable lifestyle, both physically and mentally, and help validate that it's okay not to be a 
part of the masses and fall into the consumer culture that overwhelms our society on a daily basis. Okay, so if this resonated with you at all and you wanna learn more about living more intentionally through minimalism, mindset, and saving money, I would love for you to click that like and subscribe button so we can grow this community and simply just bring more intention into our lives together one day at a time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next one.